Alright, so hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, what we're looking at tonight is that we want to continue our series um, that we did on um, Scratch, right? And again, you can go back to the first episode to make sure that you catch up. I want to make it short tonight. We're doing the animating of uh, some text and I want to do specifically the word Merry and you guys can finish it for the Christmas break and so it's, um, we're doing the word Merry Christmas, right? So we'll get the word all lit up moving um changing colors right as a second part to this series on scratch so we want to dive into it and remember um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel do so um if you want to see more of these tutorials more of the scratch tutorials i will be doing that also right All right, so for this particular lesson, what we're doing is that we're going to animate um, our names or animate some word. So it's a it is a Christmas season, so it's a good idea for you to animate the word Merry Christmas and have it on the screen moving, right? Um, I'm hoping and I know that you went through the last um, tutorial, so let's jump into it, start creating. And again, if you remember all the workspace we use, um, you have your code on the side, your coded area, your project area, along with what the sprite does, right? So first thing we'll do is that we'll get rid of this sprite. So we don't need that because we'll be doing an animation, right, in terms of letters. So let's add, and we'll choose letters, and I will do the word Merry and Christmas, right? So. I'll do M, the E, I'll choose R, I think you can just duplicate, no, so M, E, R, R, choose Y, so you can find all the letters um, under that area. And I'll add in a background afterwards. So, so I'll I leave it there, and I'll have you animate the rest, so I don't have to go through all of this. So we'll animate the word Mary. I'll add a background to it. Uh, add in something Christmassy, right? Christmas E. Christmas E. Alright, so we'll admit the word Mary. So again, I am at M. So what do I want to do with this M? Again, we look back at some of the events. I want that whenever I click on the green button, the M will do something, whether it's um, changing the way it looks or moving around the screen or just turning, right? So I'll just have them turn or wiggle or do something. So I'll say, when clicked, when the green flag is clicked, I want that the M will look. So we'll say change costume. And we could have this, in fact, let's put it in a loop. Now, a loop is something that occurs over and over. And we saw this in the first instance or in the first um, tutorial that we did, when we did the introduction to Scratch. So a loop is something we want to occur over and over. And so we'll put this in a loop where we'll have it change the costume it has on, and so the M will change it to something different if there is an M for it, or there's another costume, and we'll have this do it forever, right? So it'll never stop, right? In programming, um, the forever statement can be done using a while. So if you're already into programming and you know about the while statement, right? Or the while condition, then it means then that you can say while one do something, and so it means then that it'll continue to loop forever, right? So we'll switch costume and we we can have it turn or do something else. So let's let's look at that, see how it looks. So you get the idea of it. Oh, so there might not be a costume. Alright. Um M only has well the letters don't have a change. And so it means then that we can't use a switch costume, but we could use maybe a rotate type. Right? So look, we could say change color. If that works, let's see. Yeah. 
and so we can also say rotate let's do motion and let's have it turn 15 degrees let's see how that looks so i like that that's nice All right so we can have the m doing that i can copy that code over to the other um, sprite also just to make it easy so remember you choose what you want um, to happen to the sprite or to the letter now and I'm just saying I want this letter to just be rotate and change color random colors right I can have it move around the screen I can have it glide to certain positions right um, so I want to copy all this all this code I want to copy it over to the block E Let's see that is possible so E now has the same thing I also want to copy that over to R I also copy that over to the other R and notice how quick I'm doing this right so there's no need for you to go and recreate these codes again because you already have them there so R notice have a code the other R has a code and the Y does not have a code right don't know why but <laughs> Let's copy that over. See if we can catch it this time. Something is glitching in my on my screen. Anyway, let me just copy it. So it says, when you click forever, change color and turn 15 degrees, right? So I'll go ahead and grab that in again. Event, when you click. We'll do a forever loop. So you can use this as a review and we will change color. Um, and we'll do a rotate I said right so rotate 15 degrees all right so let's see that let me make it full screen so it shows on the entire screen and so this is what you'll see as an end product looks like Christmas for real right and so we have the Mary just turning around I will do this forever I didn't set any timing um for it um so go ahead pause the video um give it a try i challenge you to do your <coughs> first name or do your entire name for the fucker complete the merry christmas and remember each one can be different right so for example if i didn't want that to change color i just wanted it to just turn around i'll put the turn in there and i'll get rid of the color and this is what would happen right so the rest will do that the rest are changing color and the E will remain without the color being changed, right? So very short tutorial for tonight. Um, go ahead, give it a try. See if you can animate some text, do a little um, recording of it, and of course, put it up. And of course, Merry Christmas to you guys. Right? All right, again, Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something new tonight, right? Um, the entire world of programming is exciting, right? I want that you, um, you're able to take something from these lessons. And of course, go ahead and try them and try something new and put it in the comments for me. Um, tell me if there's something that you want me to do or if there's something that you learned, right? I want that you explore this on your own. And of course, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, again, I remind you to please do so. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell so that you can see whenever I post up new videos. Um, do enjoy your Christmas vacation, right? And like always, guys, go out there and geek yourself. <laughs>